For more than 100 years, Stella Maris, or the Apostleship of the Sea, has been serving sailors and seafarers on ships and in more than 330 ports spread across 60 countries worldwide. Its global leaders have met in Glasgow, the city of the organization's founding, to hold their 25th World Congress, the first time they've gathered since the pandemic, which drastically changed the nature of their ministry. We had merchant ships that were coming to us and no one was able to get off the ships, you know, because of the pandemic, but they still needed groceries, they still needed SIM cards, their, their phones would break. Uh, if they weren't going to get off their ship for 15, 16 months, they needed a phone to be able to contact their families. Among the focuses of the Congress was the changing pastoral dynamic for seafarers caused by the war in Ukraine, which closed the country's ports, although its sailors continue to travel on ships. Uh, and in many cases, Ukrainian and Russian seafarers travel together. They're almost always on the same ships together. And so what we have found throughout the world, actually, uh, with our port chaplains and maritime ministers, is that we're all seeing them still work together, no matter if it's in a port in my little you know, side of Texas or right there in the Ukraine, they're still working together. Pope Francis sent a message to the Congress's participants, urging them to continue advocating for the rights of sailors, a group that is often forgotten, despite that some 90 percent of the world's trade travels over the sea. He cares tremendously about seafarers. He, he's always elevating them and always reminding them that they are not alone, like in the midst of the pandemic. He knew that we had 400,000 seafarers stuck on board ship by June of 2020. Another 400,000 were stuck at home, unable to go to work. And he heard that and he, he understood that. The Pope has urged Stella Maris's more than 1,000 chaplains and volunteers worldwide to continue caring for seafarers after the pandemic and to protect the health of the world's oceans in the face of climate change. Good news from Rome Reports. This month, we reached 300,000 subscribers on our English YouTube channel. Thank you so much. If you are still not subscribed, you can do so by hitting the red button below.